Once again, this is Jeep Miner Larry Gubataya. Welcome back to our channel, to our future engineers, and also sa ating kabaro in line of profession. In this video, we will learn the operation of fire boiler and also the activation of the safety devices. The auxiliary boilers have their own common parts. One is the motor, second is the main burner, and also the pilot burner, and also the plain eye part of the boiler. In this video, we will also know and learn the safety devices of the boiler. One is the plain eye. The flame eye is a photocell operated flame sensor fitted directly on the refractory to detect the burner is firing or not. Second is the thermostat. The thermostat sends message to the burner electronically when the system needs to produce heat. It's a form of switch that operates an electrical contact when a certain set fluid pressure has been reached on its input. The switch may be designed to make contact either on a pressure rise or on pole pressure pole. And also, the safety valve is a valve that acts as a fail safe. An example of the safety valve is the pressure relief valve, what we call the PRV, which is automatically released substance from the boiler pressure vessel. And before its operations, we have to know also the manual and automatic operation of the boiler. The starting sequence procedure were the following. One is to set the manual position. Second is to set the manual on fan start and wait. It will maintain to the 40 ampere. Next is to switch on the pilot burner well to start ignition ready will lights and ignition and furnace and people will appear then switch on the combustion burner burning take place in furnace so if in the stable and good conditions then you have to stop manually the boiler or set in the auto position mode so here is the boiler control panel which is the electronically designed, is a systematic design. There is what you call the eliminations of lights in case of firing sequence and also in case of different kinds of trouble in alarm. There is indications of alarms like the plane failure, fuel low pressure, steam low pressure, uptake high temperature, and there also and uh, what we call the misfiring during combustion. You have also to know the model of the boiler. What we call this the marine composite boiler is a horizontal type. You have to know the designation, the class what we call the ABEs, and the maximum allowable working pressure is the nine kilogram centimeter squared. The design temperature which is at 250 centigrade and the maximum allowance steam capacity exhaust temperature which is at 2072 kilogram per hour which is the Camrim model heavy industries company limited made in Korea so before Starting in a manual operation, you have to confirm also the boiler feed pump in, is in the auto mode position. And you have also to check the valves leading to boiler are open conditions. And also you have to check the boiler feed pump rotation. And next, you have also to check the side glass suite that shows three part of the water level and also the cascade tank temperature which is at 80 to 85 degrees and also you have to check the inside of the cascade tank and also you have to check the service air and the control air valve to the pilot burner are open 
and also you have to know if the solenoid valve is in activation process valves in the fuel line leading and the pilot and also the main burner are open condition and the fuel oil supply pump to start supplied to the boiler and set into the auto mode position and verify the pressure is around 0.5 MPE and temperature around 90 degrees are in normal range. You have also checked that if there is lacking take place from the pilot burner and the main burner, this can be checked by the opening of the burning door prior to firing of the auxiliary boiler. After post purging, press the pilot burning switch on the control panel, so the valves activates open the fuel valves to flow to the pilot burner then it will create ignition inside the furnace and will also create combustion after that the electrode will energize and create ignition with the air and the fuel and produces combustion inside the furnace first drop fan and fuel oil pump are running the air and fuel is supplied also to the main burner for ignition by the activation of the solenoid valve and will cause the flame inside the furnace and cause the ignition so the flame sensor is equipped in the burner assembly which detects the flame and sends signal to the control panel or monitoring system. In the event of flame failure, fuel oil low pressure, boiler low level, misfiring failure, back pressure and also it sounds like temperature all of this alarm will sound for the monitoring in the control room the pilot burner claims support heat in furnace and the main burner continuously fire after that the boiler generates steam required by the vessel then that's the time that the pilot will automatically stop thank you very much for watching my video and drop a likes and leave a comment below and subscribe